Hello there. Welcome to our fourth video for grade 7. English and the date inclusive is 6, 7, 8, April 2020 and the topic is Unit 7, Content and Language Integrated Learning and Science. And the reference is our student's book, pages 118 to 120. And this is teacher Marisa of the Wave Private School. This is our weekly plan. Let's just check the topic and the homework which you have to do every day. And I hope that you are going to be able to answer as well the workbook pages along with the pages of the student's book that you are about to learn. And then the objectives for these lessons are you are expected to be able to read with comprehension use vocabulary words effectively and use grammar rules correctly and this is usually given at the end of each unit but I would like you to take note of the points that you have to focus on while you are doing the activities so you will be guided on page 118 this is now the CLIL science article that we are about to read now this is the solver system okay you are familiar with these lessons because you have studied this in your early school uh, grade i mean and uh, this is the solver system together with the text here you just read it please and then these are actually the activities that we are going to answer number two Activity. I would like you to listen carefully while I read and give you the answers. You have to mark here on the lines T and F. Okay, meaning if it's true or if it's false. Number one, our solar system was born nearly 5 billion years ago. It's true because it's 4.6 billion years ago. Number two, the Earth is the only planet that orbits the sun is false there are eight of them number three neptune is the most distant planet from the sun yes it's true it's the last away from the sun number four the center of the sun will increase in temperature yes according to the text so it's true number five the sun will live for a very long time yes according to the text it will live five, five billion more more years okay now these are the words and most of them are actually common words that you have learned already but some of them may be not familiar to you or unfamiliar please use the dictionary for them okay for the meanings and then in number three these are also the answers okay then just answer your textbook on that page and these are the vocabulary words that you have learned on the computer's vocabulary page please enjoy doing this puzzle just check the page for the spellings and then in number two listen to me again as I choose the answers in number one uh, no, uh, you have to choose first the correct item okay number one he downloads or saves music from the internet. We download from the internet, right? So downloads number two. Here's my USB flash drive. It contains all the files you need. Number three, use the printer to print the document. Number four, I'll send you an email later. Number five, I often go online to find out information. Then here, number three, number one, call her circle or underline, call her on your mobile phone. Number two, this laptop comes with Windows 8. Number three, this printer is in excellent condition. Number four, I need to type up my science notes. Number five, the smartphones are popular for young people and number four here choose the correct item as well all you have to do is read this and then the, I mean the questions okay and then what is the proper answer 
Are you going to the planetarium? Probably not. B. Number two, I hope you have a great time. And then, I'm sure we will. A. Number three, what are you doing on Saturday? Nothing much. B. Number four, do you want to come with us? Absolutely. Okay, then. Now, here, I have also given the answers here. Just read them and then circle the correct answer and then here also on activity 6 you have to put the verbs in brackets into the correct form so here just follow this one here but include the action words like buy, go, turn off, meet and colonize so are you going are you going to leave work at 1 o'clock today so Please complete. Next, we have grammar in focus. I have also given you the answers here. So, fill in the correct form of the words in brackets and then choose the correct word or fill in the gaps. Okay, the complete sentences. And then here on seven. Now, let's try to read this one and choose the answers. There are three words that are not matching any of the gaps so the star trek's fans will know that the enterprise crew members wore wrist communicators that allowed them to contact letter d the spaceship quickly and easily but then that was just science fiction but small wrist smartphones or smartwatches are soon going to be reality they are actually for real now maybe some of you have this gadget smartwatches of the future are going to be able to tell you far more than just the time you will be able to read your emails text messages letter b in number two check your Facebook page and more just by looking at your wrist. This doesn't mean you won't need the smartphone though, or you won't need your smartphone though. The smartwatch will connect a to your smartphone via Bluetooth so you can leave your smartphone in your bag and still see who is calling. Such a cool gadget is going to be a must have for all. We have page 121 activities here. One to two are listening, and then here this is an email. Read the text and then fill in each gap with the correct answer. So, hi Fiona, how are you? I'm on the train to London and I'm sending you this email from my new tablet. Isn't that great? Anyway, we are having a cleanup day here in town on the first Saturday of next month and I'd like you to come you can stay at a my place for the weekend let me know if you want to come and I will call you later in the week love Rebecca and then activity 3 on the next page about that so here the writing is read the rubric okay then write your email this one here your english pen friend asks you what your favorite gadget is write an email in reply 50 to 100 words in which you are going to describe your favorite gadget explain what you use it for and then mention how you came to Okay, please do this on your notebook. Now, this is the end of this video. Please stay home, be safe, and do your homework. I miss you. Till the next video. Bye.